Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome back to some more Kingdom Come Deliverance. Uh, I have sped forward a day in time because uh, people have said just wait, they'll, he'll, they'll show up within a day or so. Ooh, I'm hungry and I'm sleepy. I'm gonna have to take care of that. Uh, this might be all of them. I'm not entirely sure. Vincent, Tonda, Rock is here. So let's start talking to these people uh, and seeing what we can get them to do. Rock, we we healed up, so we can send him off to do waters, I think. My God, what happened to you? What do you mean I've been assaulted? What's up with that? Carrying water. There's still something I want to... Yes? Uh, I can't remember if he was Poop Man or Water Man, but let's go carry How water. How badly do you want to carry water? Well, right now, there doesn't seem to be much work around for miners. And at least I can earn a few groschen. It's not easy work, though. It's a long way to carry water. Do you think it was easier in the mines? Digging through rock on your knees all day okay, for months? Okay, blah, blah, blah. Um, were you a miner? At the mines. That's right. But you... All right, that's enough, That's I enough guess. for now. I don't know if this is everybody. Alex is... hungry. Alex is not here. No, that's Cornelius. This woman giving somebody over there for begging. Do I have any food on me? I must have some dried mushrooms or something, right? Yeah, I'm good. I can eat these. I'm going to drop these. But I'm going to go ahead and eat these. What's my nourishment at? I should be good now. Oh, I just ate the whole thing. All right. Well, that's fine. What does this red, blue, red, blue mean? Hmm. Well, we can at least splash some water on ourselves. All right. Um... Henry, I'm glad you came. What's up, Cornelius? God be with you. Uh, I want to ask again. I want to ask you. There's also the option. Are you trying to insult me? No, True. True. That double, hey. Well, that's not bad, not bad, but... Uh... Hmm. That's enough. That's enough for now. Who are you? What do you need? You hear about the water, Carrion? Aye. I can haul water all day long. So, do you want the job? There's plenty of other folk that will take it if you don't. I do. I want it. What do I have to do? I need to know more about you first. How'd you make a living so before tell this? tell me. What was your trade before? I was a miner. Then a farm laborer. Then I was a servant. Then I fled from Scullets and ended up here. Quite the fat totem, aren't you? Was none of those jobs good enough for you? Uh, I liked them all. But they were always sending me to do something else. Why? Pickman, they'd say. Leave this and go and do that. Your name is Pickman? Pickman. That's your name. Uh, actually, my real name's Vassen. But they call me Pickman. Is that German? No. It's from when Digging I was with a pick. in the I got it. Uh, how are you doing? How are you holding up, anyway? What can I tell you? I've seen better days, for sure. Okay. You're not talking to the bailiff? What happened with the bailiff? He couldn't get a word out of anybody. That peacock, what was strutting up and down and shouting at everyone? He told me he'd no time to listen to a buffoon like me. So I shut my mouth. All right, well... Or you could carry something else. Besides water, you could carry... Uh, you could empty latrines. What? Carry shit? <laughs> That'd be a new one for me. No, it's not a thing I'd go around boasting about. Hey, well, you could do it. Uh, all right. That's enough for now. So, we're agreed that... Look, the bailiff is the one who'll do... So, I might not get... Pikmin for shitting. Are you? No, you're just a tailor. Vincent, let's talk to you. God be with you. Uh, are you here about work? Are you here on account of the water carrying? Yes, I am. My name is Vincent. Welcome. Nice to meet you. I'll ask a few questions and we'll see. All right? Fine. I ask away. Uh, how'd you make a living? What did you do before this? I worked for my father. Doing what, though? Doing what? Who's your father, anyway? He's... He was Moimir. We had a farm near Scarlet's. Okay. Really? His farmhands came to the tavern a lot, but I never saw you there. Uh, 
I don't go to taverns. Oh, why? How are you holding up? Well, I'm alive. But I miss my father. And the farm, too. But Ma says there's no use dwelling on it. Life must go on. Sure, I agree, but I, you can mourn. I, I, I'm with you on that. What happened with Bailiff? I, I don't know. Okay. So you're probably here about carrying water, right? Aye. I, I want to carry water. That's all? You've nothing more to add? Th that's what's needed, ain't it? All right. That's enough for now. Rock, we've talked to Tonda. I don't know if we've talked to Tonda yet. God be with you. You're here about the water carrying? How? Where do I get some pails? Hold your horses. We what for? for? I can have. We're gonna find out uh, what we're gonna do here. Okay. Um. I heard you lot don't want to talk to the bailiff. I don't know much about that. The others didn't talk to him, so I kept my mouth shut as well. That he didn't even really ask me anything anyway. Just mumbled something under his breath. Uh. What are you able to do? What trade did you do before? I worked in the mines, at the winch. You've heard of Tonda the winch, right? Strong as a bull. Ah, the name sounds familiar. You were one of the new miners, weren't you? I was. I came last autumn. The winch was mild enough to work the mines, and I showed everyone I was... Well, that's we're good. not finished yet. You can carry something else. Well, uh, there's also the option of carrying shit. Not a chance. I'm not carrying any shit around. You get paid twice as much. And what if I told you that you get double the pay? Didn't I mention something? You, you, you did, but more money. I wouldn't be tonder the winch. More like tonder the. How are you doing? And how are you holding up? Not very well. I'll tell you that. I help out with something every once in a while and get some money for it. Sure. And have you tried looking for other work? What for? They'll get the mines when they get. What about joining the garrison? And what about soldiering? That's real man's work, isn't it? It is. And I'd be good at it. When I land a punch, you'd think you were kicked this by This guy was a talking horse. about throwing dice around, so Which that doesn't I worry me. Which I to a soldier I fell out with over a game of dice. Yeah, Only more dice. I'm too smart for soldiering. Are you sure yeah. about that? No doubt. Um... Are you here? Well, but now I want to carry what? Because there's money in it because he needs money. All right. Um. I know everything. So. Not yet. Well. I... If you think I'm afraid of you, you're mistaken. Yeah, you don't scare me. We'll see. Yeah, I don't like him. I don't like him very much. Maybe I'll send him to, sh to carry shit. All right. Everybody's been talked to. Let's go talk to the bailiff. Uh, I think I know who I want to do what. Bailiff. I'm here, fam. Hello. Let's get the jobs sorted. My respects to you. All right. I made a decision about the carriers. I know everything I need to know to pick the carriers. Splendid. I'll be glad to get this damn business off my back. So how have you decided? Should I name them? So, how do we do this? Do I just give you their names, or should I send for them? Just tell me their names and whether they should carry water or... All right. Uh, do we have Antonia? T Antonia? No, she can't do anything, but... Uh, Momir's son will be... Rock will be... One, two, three. We'll go with Rock first. Peter, better known as Rock. Peter? Rock? Didn't he get into a fight and injure his arm? Well, what should he do? I gave him something to worry about. To carry water. So we have one person to carry water. Who's next? Uh, Tonda the Winch. We can worry about him later. Vasil Pickman. Vincent Momir's son. Momir's son. Vincent? Never heard of him. What do you think he should do? Uh, let's go ahead and have him carrying water. To carry water. So we have one person to carry water. Who's next? That's two people to carry water. Cornelius Vasil Pickman? Vasil. Goes by the moniker of Pikmin. Pikmin. I 
hope he doesn't have... No, no. They call him Pikmin because he worked in the silver mines, and he was very keen with the pick. So much so, he managed to chop off two of his fingers. Well, he can't do too much damage with a bucket, I suppose. Empty latrines. Shit. Good. One person for this job. Next. Uh, Cornelia, Antonia. Antonia. What? A woman? Yeah, is that a problem? You never said it had to be only men. I didn't, but I kind of assumed it would be clear. It's a long walk. She can handle it. She can handle the job. Have no fear. Let's hope so. You'll have to answer. Uh, water carrying for her. To carry water. So we have one person to carry water. Okay, Tonda the winch. Tonda. They call him the winch. The winch. Not to be good with a bucket anyway. We're going to send him. What's he going to do? To carry shit. Carrying shit. <laughs> good. One person for this job. Next. That's mm. it. No Cornelius, good. I guess. All decided. Now about the cook's job. Uh, I've decided about the cook. I chose a cook as well. Should I tell you or go to Hagen? Tell me who you chose and I'll take care it's of it. Tell me the other lady. I chose old Agnes for the cook's job. I had a job convincing her, but it was worth it. She's the best cook around. Glad to hear it. I'll have to drop in on Hagen for lunch sometime. Master Bader, is there anything of interest going on here? Don't even talk to me. What? Why? What? Why did he just yell at me and said, don't even talk to me? Why? What? Master Bader, don't even talk. What? What's life like in that time? This is a Manori. He's fine. I don't know why he's yelling at me. All right. So I think Cornelius is the one that got shafted on a job, but that's okay. I'm gonna. I sent Tom to the winch to carry shit. Works for me. All right. We need to sleep. Uh, let's take a look at our quest log real quick. Find Neoff Bandit and Ushitz. We need to go to Ushitz. Yeah, we need to go to Ushitz. Okay, that's actually going to be our next go. Because we need to start learning to read. Because I'd like to start doing apothecary stuff. Um, is that Antonia? Can I tell her that I actually got her job? Antonia! I hooked you up. Okay, never mind. You're going to be carrying water, though, girl. Congratulations. Ugh. Now, I need to get some sleep, but... I should... Yeah, I should sleep. Let's go. And we might be able to take Teresa out on a date as well. It's possible. Whoop, whoop, on a horse. Whoop. Why are all the doors open? Everybody okay here? I don't want to come here one day and everybody's just dead. But at the same time, why do I have a feeling that's going to happen? Where'd she go? Yo, where's your daughter? She's very bangable. Very bangable. Alright, well, I should sleep anyway. We're not super tired, but we're tired enough where getting some rest is going to be valuable for us. And we can start our trek to Ushitz uh, on this episode. Because we spent two episodes doing, like, side stuff. I'm going to do more side stuff, don't worry. But... Let's go to... here. Um, and like I said, I'm going to do some more side stuff and stuff, but I want to, I like to keep it a nice balance of doing main story stuff, doing side stuff, exploration. The, the challenge of doing a game this open on YouTube is, is making sure there's a nice balance in each episode of, of being able to show off everything and, you know, tell our own story. So I hope I'm doing an alright job balancing that kind of thing for you. Uh, it's definitely something I haven't really done before. I haven't really done a game this big and open before. On the channel, at least, so... On my own, obviously, I have. All right, let's see if we can find our dear lover. Our soon-to-be lover. We're gonna eat as well. Delicious. Hey, baby grill. What up? Fancy doing something again? I'd love to, Henry, but not just now. You've got to let a girl catch her breath. It's been like two days, I thought. Maybe I'm off a day. All right, well, I've got a quest. Teresa, I'll be back.
Wish me luck. I've got to make my way all the way to Ushits, and it's going to be a kind of a long travel, so uh, I hope it goes well for me. We can get to... We should fast travel to Tomberg. We also have a camp leader to kill here, so I'm thinking about doing that. Knock this out. Make some... I don't know. Let's do this. See if we... Maybe we'll get pulled off in a corner somewhere. Maybe we should take care of these guys first. That might be better for us. Are we going to swing all the way up and past it? We should probably... I hope we get st stuck or stopped by some rando person along the way, but we're not looking like we're going to get that lucky. Nope. Welcome, Henry. Hey. There's people walking here. What? Okay, sorry. All right, let's, uh, let's make our way over there, and then we've got... Two unexplored places actually that way as well. Sorry guys, wheeling around. I got places to go and people to see and all that. Hopefully Newhoff is doing alright after the attack. But we can wait till <clears throat> we can wait till nighttime as well. We should just bang left, a hard left. Right here. The reason I actually am going out of my way, by the way, to go after these bandits is not only for the loot and the money, but the experience in, in sword fighting and stuff is very, very, very valuable. Leveling up in this game is very similar to older RPGs like Morrowind, for instance. It very, it very much reminds me of Morrowind in that the more you do something, the better you get at it. So you take every opportunity that you can to try and knock that out. Did I hear like a person? I don't want to fall and hurt myself, so let's just kind of swing over here for a second. Okay, well, I might have gotten myself stuck. Shit. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, we, we may have gotten a little stuck, but maybe we can fast travel from here? Yeah, we gotta, we gotta fast travel out of there. <laughs> Hey, well, I'm back. Mount Pebbles up again. Sorry. We'll, we'll canter out there. I gotta remember, too, like, we can't be... Oh, that's a shrine. We can't be treating this like Oblivion or Morrowind or Skyrim. We can't be like gliding our way down invisible walls and such. What is this? This has got to be to somebody's home. They've been living here a little It looks like they've been here for a while. Oh, an herbalist. And an alchemy bench. Hello. May the Lord watch over you, Henry. You know me. All right. Well, can you teach me anything? Maybe you could sell me some things? What do you got? Armor Potion. Artesmia. Uh, we've got a little bit of money on us, but not a ton. Dollmaker Potion. What does this do? Your muscles atrophy and you lose control of your limbs. Your entire body feels wooden and you can only move with great difficulty. Your combat skills with weapons are without and without are reduced by 5 for 10 minutes and your stamina is lowered. So it's like a poison. Grasses and herbs, which we can't do. Straight up poison there. So many recipes. Treasure maps. All right. <laughs> Stuff, again, stuff we want to do for Ujits, for sure. Glad to know that she is there, though. There's a nice, easy way down. I think I'll find them, scout them out real quick, see if they're worth taking out during the day, and then try and hit them up at night, if possible. If they are as... Uh, large and powerful as most of the other bandit camps that we've come across. And I can imagine they will be, or more. What the hell? 
What is this? That's a wreath of some sort, but does it mean like good luck or something? So we are dead north of it. So let's go to this side of the river. You would think they would be down here where there's some flat land, a road they can rob from, maybe. Nope, not over here. If I could find even just remnants of a camp. I'll wait by it and see if they pop up. You'd think maybe here, but there's just no way. This is anything. Yeah, we're back outside the road now. I guess on this side, yeah. Place at the wrong oh time. God! Run, 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 run! I found them! 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 Okay, you are a rather well armored man. All right, we're gonna go top. You have a hell of a helmet on. Oh God! Run! Oh. I think I parried him. Okay, I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta focus on you, my dude. Actually, no. Get this guy. I gotta keep a lock on this guy. Oh, God. It's fine. Okay. Back up. Straight. Okay. Okay. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Okay, he kicked me free. Okay, okay. We're gonna try and pull out the combo. Top, right, bottom. Ow, ow, I'm being surrounded. Oh, is there more? Do I have no arrows, by the way? Yeah, I have no arrows. We're gonna run. Maybe take out our bow. Okay, see ya. <laughs> Is that the best you can do? For now, yes. Whoop. Ah. That went in and through him. Bullshit. Ah. Oh, fuck you, dude. You'll get what's full. Okay. Ah. okay, you're are you down? No. Ah. You have an arrow in your face! So much for realism. Ugh. I can't move. I have a Lazarus potion that I can down when I need to. Please die! Oh, I've got no arrows. He's 
hunting arrows on you. I can't go back that way. There's people over there. I gotta move. I can't move. Did I hit somebody? Okay, he, he, he zigzagged. I'm gonna die. Oh god. Oh god. I'm gonna go. I can't move. I'm down. I don't know where they came from, man. That was really, really rough. Where did they come from? Poof. From the hills, clearly, but where in the hills, I don't know. Luckily, that wasn't that bad. Like, we, we slept, we're eating, we'll go right back there. I'm gonna try it again. I don't think it's something I can do during the day. Um, now that I've seen it, the, the armor in one of them. If I could just get, like, a, a lead on them, I'd be in a better spot overall, but... Yeah, we're gonna have to run our butts all the way back over here. So let's go ahead and do that. That was rough. That was really rough. I don't know. I just don't know what specifically I should do. Hmm. Ideally, I would I would tackle them much like I've tackled any other bandit camp, which is find their camp beforehand, attack on the road. We gotta halt. I'm being attacked, so. Hello. Money. I want your money. Yeah, do you? That's unfortunate. Uh. Idiot. Uh. Moron. Come on. Here. Oh, I'm gonna attack your head. Fainting. Oh. You hit me, I guess? Come on. <laughs> what the hell? What was that? I'm gonna eat your apples. Dude, I don't, I don't even know. That was really good. Oh, I guess he pushed this in the way so he could trap people. That was hilarious, though. <laughs> that was so good. Um, Let's get some stuff off of our horse, though. Uh, I'm gonna grab some hunting arrows. I'm just gonna take like 20 hunting arrows off <laughs> off of him. Um, are we are we close? We're actually very, very close, so screw it. I'm gonna stay from here. I just need to find them. Let's actually equip the better hunting arrows so I have them. In fact, actually, let's also equip. Unless I got rid of it. No, it's there. Let's grab this. I'm thinking we equip the shield? It's not as in good condition. It weighs less, though. Sure, let's, uh, let's put this to the horse for now, then. We'll keep the shield. The bigger shield, rather. So they came from over here. But where over here did they come from? I was trying to keep an ear out last time, but I just didn't hear anything. There's one, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one. I need to get up here. There's their camp. I see their camp. Okay. So I'm going to come up here. Their camp is dead ahead of me. Let's wait until night time. And just take them all out at night.
Okay. I don't think I'm gonna sneak in with my bow. I think I'm gonna... Unless there's guard still. Maybe I can hit the, hit the guard and take him out from a distance without him knowing. I can't see actually anything. The leader's over there, he's sleeping with all of his shit on. There's another guy there. We're just gonna run in after the leader. Alright, I can't see anything, so. Over here. Where is everyone? Quick. <gasps> You're dead. Hey, Am I? Come here, Lily Liver. Lily Liver? Where is everyone? Quick! Oh god, I can't see. I won that one. I can't see. I can't. I gotta go kill the archer. I'm locked on to the wrong guy you here. No! I'm locked onto the wrong guy! I can't. Please! Please! Please stop locking on! Please. Oh god. The lock-on system in this game is just bad. Even the soft lock where I'm supposed to be able to do my own thing. I can't, I can't, I can't turn. We're gonna try combo. We're gonna try combo again. Okay, another one down. Will Mercy kill him after? You've got a big sword though, buddy. Okay. Trying to burn through his stamina. I think I'm being surrounded actually right now. Jesus Christ. I didn't do my little combo there, unfortunately. And I even though Goodbye. Well, I'm gonna loot you just for a minute. Freaking hell. Apple, bandit ear, money, decorated silver gauntlet, knight's hunting sword. Ooh. All right, we've got a lot of stuff, so let's actually go ahead and really quickly uh, eat the apples. Eat the apple. We're going to send that over to the horse. Send those over. Send that over. There's still somebody alive. Where are you, dude? Wild boar tusk could be good. Save and make some money off that. It's a good pickup. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna eat some food. I'm, I'm malnourished. What can I say? Where? It's funny how quick, not easy, but m simpler it all becomes. 
I want that. Master Huntsman's Sword. Nobleman's Gloves? I'm gonna put the hunting boots on, I think. Yeah, hunting boots. Well, no. Well, we won't look like humans, at least, so... Send that off. We're gonna look like a dork, but... It'll save us on stuff. My horse can't carry anymore. Oh, no. We're gonna have you drop this, then. I really need to sell all this stuff. Um, I need to sell those antlers, too. He can carry a bit, still. I think that dagger can go. Oh, hey. Didn't even know. He still can't carry it, so I'm just gonna drop it. Short brigandine chauces. We'll wear them. Send that over. Still a little, by a little, I mean a lot overloaded, though. Send the sword. The dagger. Hunting bow. <coughs> Still quite overloaded. Is it the male, is it the bassinet? Might be. 131 out of 117. Yeah, it's quite a bit. We can down the drinking water before it goes bad. We're healing, apparently. All this weighs nothing. Well, the bird trap actually weighs something. I might actually just ditch the bird trap, all things considered. Uh, let's actually go ahead and apply this to... Shard. Two damage to repair it. Well, horse can't carry anymore. Communion chalice. Horse can't carry anymore. God damn it. What do I want to get rid of on this on this horse? Let's see. Five. Five, ten. I guess it might be better for me to just start dropping my... Nah, this is all worth too much. I can't use it on any of this. It's got to be what I put on, then. This helmet. It's only seven pounds, but... I need to get all this repaired, too. Damn it, horse. All right. Get rid of this, and this, and the kettle hat, and then we'll swap back over, transfer over this, this, all of these. We really need to sell these things, man. Why I'm holding on to them is beyond me. Well, there's a dude here. There's still a guy here, but I'm gonna sleep. To my prayers. Oh, hey, Just buddy. When I wanted to vent my you, rage. you literally have no weapon. Hey, man. How's it going? I'm just gonna... Like, you have a bad back. Hey, all of you! Gather him! Like, I don't know what you were expecting, man. Thanks for the ear, and the money, and the arrows. All right. Well, why is this something? Oh, did I drop this? Pick it up. Hey, you there? <gasps> oh, I dropped it instead of Who's transferred there? it. Oh, God damn it. What's that? Hang on, I'm picking up treasure. How 
many of you are there? Hello? It's very hard to see out of this new helmet of mine. Alright. Well. I'm gonna sleep. If you wanna come back. That's okay. Look at all this treasure I dropped. I'm so dumb. Put this away. Okay. <laughs> Back to what I was doing. Um, put that on. Transfer. Transfer. I can't believe I did that. I can't believe you've done this. Transfer. Now we start transferring the communion chalice, and then the silver goblet, and then all of these. There we go. Okay. All right, man, I'm gonna sleep in your bed. Sorry. You hang out there. I'm gonna sleep till morning. Hopefully, since I'm still in all kinds of uh, armor and stuff, the guy who's still around will be like, oh, it must be the boss. Eh. Let's go turn this in and then go to Ushitz. And hopefully we can end the episode by arriving in Ushitz. Ushitz. I just want to say, oh, shits. That's what I get when I drink too much coffee. You know what I'm saying? Hey, finger guns. Oh, good morning. Oh, you want a fist fight, dude? Can you just get... Hang on. I'm getting up. You could have just stabbed me in my sleep, but... Alright, I'm just gonna pull the sword. You ready? You ready? Alright. How's that going for you? Oh, you wanna talk now? Alright, let's talk. Um. Just. Pay. No, you know what? No, no, forget it. Now you die. Oh, you beast. <laughs> oh, you beast. Ugh. Is he... Alright, let's mercy kill him. Gah! Give me your ear. Giveth me thine ear, good friend. Ooh, lockpick. Beautiful. Everything else can just stick here. But, I will actually lockpick this now. go. Alrighty. Nothing valuable, but we leveled up. Um, okay, let's see what we can level up here. Vitality. Uh, Thick-blooded Marathon Man, Human Dustbin. Right, Marathon Man, Sprinter, Balanced Diet. If you don't oh, either overeat or go hungry for five consecutive days, or Human Dustbin. I thought I picked this. We're gonna take Human Dustbin. We can just eat anything and not worry about it fucking us? Sword. Ooh. Blinding strike. Slash, 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 slash. So left, right, left, right. Attack repeatedly from various sides to confuse your opponent. If you have a shield, cover your final strike behind it. If not, get past the opponent's cover with a quick strike. Slash, slash, stab, slash. The third wonder of sword fighting is a slash. Uh, is a slash that will not defeat your opponent, but will make it difficult for him to continue. After a few misleading strikes, suddenly slash at their wrists. Double stab. I like the blinding strike. Let's take that. Slash, slash. Slash, sl left, right, left, right. It's got to remember that. Left, right, left, right. Good stuff. <laughs> All right. Well, we've got uh, we've got breakfast for us waiting. Oh, no. We don't have any breakfast. I lied. Uh, everybody's gone. Their bodies are gone, except for this guy. We did our job the right way. So let's actually go back then. We're gonna have to go here to hand it in. It's gonna be a bit of a walk, but we'll be okay. I'm fine with it. 
then back to Neuhof, and then directly north to Ushitz. And then we will, uh, we will walk in. We've got to learn how to read while we're here, as well, of course, the main story quest. But mostly we want to, I, I want to read for the most part. I want to learn how to read. At least start learning how to read. So we can start dealing with books. All right, let's take a look. Yeah, he's still gonna be in there. Hello. He's got to save you, you, Henry. Thank you, townsman. Are we gonna get yelled at by the guy who didn't want to carry shit, who now carries shit, though? Stop. I need to search you. Uh, okay. Sure. I don't think I have anything on me. If if I do, I'll pay him. What? what? For security reasons. Don't bother with this. No, let's just get out of my way. That's all well and good, but don't bother me with it. Stand aside before I lose my... What game are you... Sorry, search me. If you insist. That didn't hurt a bit. Now. I just want to one day be like are the you tough... Serious? The tough man that they don't bother with ever. Is that Bernard up there? Good morning, sir. Good morning. It's not Bernard. You, Bernard? You sleeping? Captain, wake up. It's the morning. I've killed some bandits. Let's go. Good day. Uh, hand over some trophies. Have some, uh, trophies. Let's see. Good. Good. Uh, I took care of the camp. I've taken care of the camp. Where's the proof? Here, Here it is. is. Please do. And that's not all. There's some trouble on the road to Sassau. There's most likely another camp. All is right. it? I'll take. A is it infinite? Is that? Is it just like I have infinite amount of uh, camps to be destroying? Sorry. Okay. Pebbles. We got some places to go and people to see. Let's go, man. All right. I know it's been a delay. Tomberg. Tomberg is where I want to start. Let's go to Tomberg. It's been a while since we've been to Tomberg. This is going to be a hell of a ride. We might be able to... Oh, you know what? Damn it. Can I stop? It's weird that I can't stop my fast travel when I want. I would love to have stopped here. Rest. Eat. Maybe Therese a date. But I'm, I'm also realizing that... Uh, oh, we can examine. That we need to be doing other things. And it's safe as houses. What are you talking about? What is it? It's just that you seem to me like a man who doesn't frighten easily. And I could use a man like that. It's a little complicated. Let's just say I know where there's some Ooh. riches buried. And you could persuade me to share that knowledge. How about you just give it to, to me? I don't get it. Why don't you just get the treasure for yourself? To tell you the truth, I can't make head or tail of it. It's a parchment with something scribbled on it, but I've no head for such How things. do you know it's a treasure map? you know it's worth it. Yeah. No, no. It leads to treasure. That I can swear. Hmm. How about you just give it to me? Sounds a little fishy to me. How do you know about it? Well, I helped this merchant out, see? His wagon got stuck in the mud, and in return, he had shared it with me. He told you where he had money hidden. That sounds unlikely. The thing is, at the time, he wasn't quite alive. See, okay, gotcha. what? I mean, I found the merchant dead in his wagon. So me and my cousin uh, freed the wagon, and as I was helping him into the grave, we dug, well, my hand accidentally slipped inside his coat guy's very and caught suspicious. hold of this parchment with something scribbled on it. Right. You... No beating about the bush. Sure, I'll buy it. It's a rather wild story. But worth a try. Excellent. Here. Alright. That's fine. Now I could go back. Maybe go on a date with Teresa. It's right here. Tempting. Too tempting to say no to. I also should sleep and eat. Let's let's do it. I can't I can't say no. I should also look like relatively okay. 
Come on, Pebbles. I'm gonna bring Pebbles. I'm also gonna sell a bunch of stuff, actually. Now that I'm here, why don't we sell? We'll eat. Let's sell it to Naughty Mr. Miller. Whoop. That's lockpicked very hard. Alright, Mr. Miller. I got a bunch of stuff I want to sell to you, sir. You gonna lean up against that pole for me? Appreciate it. Okay, let's start selling off. At the very least, let's sell off. All of this stuff. And maybe we'll sell off the Hungarian... Or the Knight Sword, the Master Huntsman Sword. Let's organize by damage. The Robber's Sword. I kind of like the Robber's Sword. It's got some flair. Let's get rid of the Knight's Hunting Sword. Just for now. Just for now. I am a naughty Mr. Miller. Let's go. Good God. You look Sorry, I just want to... Let's go ahead and sell. I've got some goods here. All right. Okay, sell. Antlers. Uh, let's go to other. Communion chalice, decorated, blah, blah, blah. Just don't ask questions. Wild boar's tusk. Weapons. Uh, that, for sure. I actually am, am quite still loaded uh, with, with weighty stuff. Maybe it's because I haven't sold it yet. The Rule of St. Nicholas. I wonder what that is. It's got a quest in it, so... I'm excited. That's why I want to read, man. Let's try and haggle him up a bit. Let's talk about the pro... Well... You have... Ooh, I can get a lot. Oh, so he can only give me 500 of the 520 it's worth, but I'll make him the offer. Here, and uh, something for your trouble. Well now, thank you very much. I'm still overloaded? Did I fuck that up? No, I'm good. I'm actually quite, quite rich now. I want to get rid of that. Didn't get rid of those, though. I have a cumin ear. I wonder where that, why that's still in there. All right. Teresa, where are you, girl? Is it still really early in the morning? Not really early. All right, you know what? Teresa, I'll... When I t take you out on the next date, I'm going to be a man who can read. Or at least who's learning to read. And that alone should impress you. I'll see you later. Wayfarer. Let's ignore it. Goodbye, Mr. Wayfarer. Don't really care, Wayfarer, for you, Fairer, Wayfarer, man. Ooh. I'll be parting some clouds here. What is this? I'm going to be riding through a town. I'm not even going to get to see it. Hopefully that'll unlock a fast travel point for us at some point. I'll have to check that place out. Carcass on the road. Oh, hell yeah, we're stopping. Oh, that looks like a fight. Oh, we have to go see Treza now. All right. It's a deer? Roe deer meat? Hey. I didn't take anything. What? What in the name of God are you doing, poacher? I didn't poach that shit. What are you talking about? What the hell are you talking about? I saw you butchering the cow. I was looking at it. I was looking for signs of life to see if I could help. Uh-huh. And could you? No, nah, things... Fortunately, it was too late. All right. I suppose you're innocent after all. Medical thing went up. Saw sense. We'll just have to report it to someone. Unfortunately, there's not much we can do about it. I'm not gonna, like, tell her 
that she needs to be the one to do it. I'm not gonna tell her she's the criminal, rather. Hopefully the tree's a quest doesn't go out of style by the time I get back. Fingers crossed. Keep on moving. Carcass on the road, I was thinking human carcass. That's all. Ooh, another little town, a little windmill. Well, maybe like not a town, but somebody lives there. Another miller, maybe. Another naughty Mr. Miller. All right, Talmberg. It's been a while. So tempted to go to Scalitz, but another time, another time. Hey, everybody. Good old Talmberg. Well, we don't really have too much to do here. We just gotta head north, follow the road. I guess this way. That's a cool little symbol you've got on your, uh, on your shield, dude. There's honestly, for me, there is a joy, and while I don't necessarily think the, the horse controls very well, there is a definite joy in just riding through the countryside in this game, man, I'm telling you. There's a peacefulness to it. It's very, very well done. Everything looks so green and saturated so nicely. Uh, it just feels, it's very immersive is the word I'm looking for. And it really does kind of put me in the game, which I appreciate. Like, as much as I do love Skyrim, it's hard not to love Skyrim for what it was, or at least at the time. It really doesn't come close to... I'm going to follow the road. Immersing yourself when running through the wilds like this does. The only other game that really makes the, the, the nature feel actively alive is, I think, The Witcher 3. I think The Witcher 3... Uh, did an amazing job of making the world feel so much, uh, so diverse and so living. Uh, obviously in a different way, since The Witcher 3 is very much a fantasy game. Very high fantasy game, of, uh, at that. But not, not quite like this. This is different. This really feels like I'm in, I'm the real, in the real world. Which I appreciate. So we got another horsemanship level. Which I think that means, like, the more we get up in horsemanship, the better we're going to end up being. When riding the horse. Let's look at it for a second. Uh, the better your mastery of alchemy. No, horsemen. A little shy, or quickly. Well, yeah, we read that before. That's right. It's really also kind of interesting for me to look at my skills and just see what I've naturally gotten better at because I've decided to use them. A lot of what I use and what I do, I'm not doing because like, oh, I need to level this up or level that up, with the exception of maybe trying to sprint everywhere all the time. Um, but a lot of it's because, like, look at that. That's, that's, such a, that's such a beautiful sight, man. Uh, but a lot of it's just because I naturally want to use these things. I want to sneak in at night. I want to... Um, oh, yeah, the limping bandit. I want to sneak in at night, or I want to use the bow because, like, I'm getting better at it. And I actually am, like, actually getting better at using the bow. Not because the game is telling me I'm getting better, which is also true, but because I'm actually starting to understand where I need to be looking and where I need to be lining, how I need to be lining things up when I fire it, which I really appreciate. So we're in Ushitz. This is Ushitz right here. It's not a big town. But what we need to do is learn to read. So we can lock that on, and it's going to be in here somewhere. Oh, it's right here. This, we're next to this. Oh, the quill and ink bottles. The town is so empty. At least there's nobody around right now. We're on the outskirts as well, though, so that makes sense. How do we get into the scribe's house? Doors open. Hello? Villager. Scribe. 
Hey, 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 teach me to read, Good dude. Good health to you. Thank you. I'd like to learn to read. You? Hmm. You don't look like the makings of a priest or clerk. But why not? I've taught all sorts. Bear in mind, it won't be all that easy. You'll need plenty of time and a few groschen for my truck. Got that? All right. I don't want to waste time. We can get started. The sooner I master it, the better. Very well. I will require some groschen from you, though, and set aside at least a couple of days Thanks. so I can put you through your paces, if indeed time is of the essence. Give him 50 groschen. I'm rich right now, man. Take it. Here are your groschen. Then we may as well start. Two days. Are you going to make me, like, prison wait two days kind of thing? He did break his vow. But better than to dishonor it here. May he follow his heart. I don't know why the cutscenes are actually worse now than they used to be. Wake up, lad. It's time we were getting on. <sighs> so, let's see you read a bit. Okay, ooh, we're gonna read the book! There's a book here on the table. Try to read it. Will I manage? You ought to be able to. It's a simple text. Come back once you've worked your way through it. Okay. Read. Alright, look at that. One day, and the, the letters are slightly switched up because he's still not fully able to do it, but... One day, a countryman going to the nest of his goose found there an egg, all yellow and glittering. The goose with the golden egg. When he took it up, it was as heavy as lead, and he was going to throw it away, because he thought a trick had been played upon him. But he took it, he took it home on second thoughts, and soon found to his light that it was an egg of pure gold. Every morning, the same thing occurred, and he soon became rich by selling his eggs. As he grew rich, he grew greedy, and thinking to get at once all the gold the goose could give, he killed it and opened it only to find nothing. Well, first of all, why would you do that, dude? All right, I did it. I read the, the, the golden egg, the goose, the goose that lays the golden egg. I read the book. I've read the book. Wonderful. So tell me, what have you learned? There's something about some fellow and a goose. That greed, being greedy doesn't pay. That being greedy doesn't pay. Excellent. You're one of my most talented pupils. You've uncovered the meaning hidden in the letters. Like I told you, books are valuable. And the words that you place in them ought to be no less so. Does that mean that I can read them? Yes, you have the foundation. Remember, my boy, the pen is mightier than the sword. To fully learn your way around words will take a lot more reading yet. Now we'll move on to the second lesson, which will be much harder. Ooh. Many books are written in Latin, the language of erudite and religious men. If you really want to be able to read, there's no getting away from Latin. There's a book on the table with some text. Read it and then come back. You need not understand it, but you should master the letters. I only just managed the fable about the goose, and now you're asking me to tackle Latin. You're a clever lad. You'll manage... I don't know about that, my man. All right, well, let's give it a shot. Nulsu est libre tam malsu ut non al qua part prosit libri muti... Am gistri snut, uh, optimus orator est ke pasuci verbis plurum deceit. There's something about reading in there. Something about reading. That's all I got. All right, dude. I read the, the paragraph in a language I personally don't even understand, so I'm just saying. I read the page. So tell me, Distrupule, what's written there? Something... <sighs> It was nullus est liber tamalis ut non alquile prosutor. Yeah, nullus, I'm pretty sure. Uh, 
Nullus est liber tam malus uh, ut non uh, liquere parte prosit. Good heavens! Don't tell me you haven't had lessons before. Excellent. Well, there's nothing more I can teach you. Congratulations. Two days and I can now be a priest. You can go and be ordained right away. Thank you, Domine. I'm feeling a lot uh, wiser. Hell, boom, yeah. I can now read and I can actually go ahead and put something into reading. In the flow, what does this do? Uh, when reading, you will get tired and hungry twice as slowly as normal. Ooh, reading tires me out. Okay. All books are cheaper in shops. How about we go ahead and do the flow one? I'm going to be spending some time reading for sure. Um, but sweet. We can now read. What better time to stop the episode than after learning how to read? Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, you let me know in the comment section below. And by hitting the like button. Where the hell is my horse? There he is. Your support means the world to me, and as always, I'll see all of you next time.